night takeaway. I am Donna Wellband, and if you are tuning in, come and say hello. Let me know what you're having for tea. If you've got any good recipe ideas, ting them my way because I want to see them. Share with friends. Why is it asking me that? Yeah, just do it. Hey, so yeah, if you're tuning in, come and say hey and let me know what you're having for tea. If you're watching for the first time, come say I'm a newbie so we can make friends. And if you hit the share button, don't forget to comment shared so you will be in the next prize draw on Tuesday. Right, here we go. So on Tuesday, we did bacon squash and sweet potato stew and we had 197 shares. So we have one prize in the pot. Hey Sarah, how are you? So here we go. It's not number two, it is number 148. Let me write that down super quickly. 148. Right, so I asked this morning, chicken pizza or peri peri chicken bake? And you all, well, the majority of people said peri peri chicken bake. Well, it's super easy. <laughs> so it's not going to take long. Um, I was going to make pizza because I thought there was a little bit more cooking involved. But anyway, there we go. Chicken bake it is, but I have also got white chocolate rice pudding in the slow cooker so at the end I'll go through that reminds me because you know I've got a brain like a drain right let me tip this down hey oh you've got sin free chili sounds yummy Tracy right I'm gonna tip this down so you can see what I'm doing thanks for the share Karen and Tracy hi Rebecca right I'm gonna chop something because I thought I better make this like a little bit uh, more entertaining than chucking a load of frozen veg in a in a in a dish <laughs> so we're gonna chop a red onion i'm gonna try not to cry i'll do my best what oh the kids have got a new game on the ps4 they are playing minecraft they have been very good so they got minecraft this morning so they're just building so if you can hear that racket that's what that is thanks for the share tracy and claire hi nisha i can see the comments a little bit better today because i'm not cooking over there so this is all gonna bang in a tray and it's got mud all over it it's gonna bang in a tray and we're gonna stick it in the oven preheat your oven i haven't done that preheat your oven on around 200 Come on, let's get peeling this. I can't get it off. What's going on? Okay, it's going to take me an hour to peel an onion. Thanks for the share, Leslie. My glasses are slipping off my nose. I need to get some new ones, but I've not really been into town. I can't get that bit off. Get off. I'm massacring this onion. Can you tell I'm not used to chopping onions? Right, here we go. It's it's peeled in a fashion. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Well, it's super easy, Jesse. Hi, Stephanie. Thanks for the share. Hi, Rose. Right, so we're just going to chop the onions up. We're going to keep them quite chunky. So we've got one red onion going in because that's all I've got. You can put two in if you want to. I'm going to spread that round. Do you know what? I'm going to get some frozen onions as well. I'm going to whack loads of speed in this to bulk it up. Let me get some frozen ones. I'm nearly crying. Oh. I'm going to whack. So can you see the dish as well? Do I need to tip it round a little bit more? Here we go. Right, so we've got red onions in there. I'm going to chuck a few frozen ones in there. If you've got fresh ones, you can chop them if you want. There we go, frozen onions, I love onions. And they're speed, so winner, winner. Right, what else? I've got a pepper here that needs eating, so we'll chop that one too. Get me with all the chopping. Hi, Judy. I don't do much chicken because of Andrew being allergic to it, but he's out this evening. So I thought, wow, well, I've chicken them. And you guys picked this, which is super easy. So I was like, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> right, chopping these peppers. Well, this pepper, and then I'm gonna chuck some frozen ones in as well. I've only got one in the um, fridge. There we go, whack that in. I thought I heard somebody knocking at the door then. I don't think so, no. Oh. Frozen peppers, gonna whack some of those in as well. Get it all in there, look. 
Nothing beats frozen on a Saturday night when you can't be bothered to cook. Hi Lorraine, thanks for the share. Hi Kerry, hi Rhonda. Oh, somebody is at the door. Kids, I might have to go and get the door. Go and see who it is. Who is it? Ooh. At this time on a Saturday evening. Welcome to Battersea Dog's Home. <laughs> who is it? Bear with me. <laughs> in charge. What is she even cooking? Mmm, yummy. the car on the front so I've put it on Facebook and the man said he was coming tomorrow to pick it up but he's just turned up and said I'll take it now I'm like you're gonna have to wait because I've got 300 people waiting for me to cook my tea <laughs> so he stood outside waiting what can we do what can we do right you're more important <laughs> so all we've got in there are the onions and the peppers next up I am whacking in some butternut squash all extra speed and then some sweet potato chunks. <laughs> I've just left him, bless him. <laughs> right, I'm putting the sweet potato in so I don't have to do any like extra sides or anything. Right, I'm just gonna mix it up. So this is just gonna be it and I'm just gonna dish it up and I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> is that really bad that I just said you're gonna have to wait? <laughs> right, where's my fry light? Fry light all over it. He wasn't meant to come till tomorrow. He was like, I'll just pay you and go. And I'm like, I ain't got time to count that money. You're gonna have to wait. Wait, I have. No, you're not counting it. Yeah. <laughs> James wants to count it. Do I trust my son to go and count that money? I don't think so. <laughs> right, we've just fry lighted it. And then we're gonna get on the chicken. Good job it's not a long live, isn't it? <laughs> never a dull minute on this channel people <laughs> right some cherry tomatoes as well so i'm using off the vine ones that i'm gonna eat that one um because it tastes really nice and sweet I stole one of them. don't eat with your mouthful it's very rude mm. i say that to the kids all the time i'm chucking them all in a bit more fire like right Give it a good toss about, people. Give it a good toss about. <laughs> hey, Claire, how are you? Oh, de dead sexy. I mean, look at this. Whoa. Who could resist? <laughs> right, chicken breasts. These are from Aldi. We're done with the veggies. Let me put that bit in the back in the freezer. chicken breasts from Aldi. We're just gonna slice them. If you're tuning in for the first time, come and say newbie. And I'll um, come and say hey later when I get off this mad thing. Right. And we'll all say hey and we'll all make friends. I'll post the recipe later on the page. So if you're not done already, go click follow and see first and you're not gonna miss anything. If you want any help, just message me on the get started. Right, all we've done is like sliced and scored the um, chicken. I'm just gonna wash my hands now. Then we're just gonna use the peri peri spices. Now you can get these from anywhere. You can get them in Tesco's. I'm gonna use the peri peri um, Portuguese one out of the Spice and Tice license to grill. If you want these, I'm gonna share my link later and you get 20%, hang on, is that right? Yeah, you get 20% off if you shop through the link and use my name, um, but you can get them from anywhere. I love these. So this is their license to grill like barbecue pack. My brother loves this one. So you want two tablespoons of peri peri. Um, I'm just gonna use what's left. And then one teaspoon of garlic granules. 
Let me pour that in there. It says all three cloves if you're crushing. If you're crushing. Thanks for the shares, guys. Just going to give it a stir up. Da -da -da. It's all technical stuff here. Hi, newbies. How are you? Oh, we've got lots of newbies. Thanks for tuning in. All you have to do is hit the share button, comment shared, and then you are in our appreciation jar and you could be in with a chance of winning a prize. Right, we're going to rub this all over them. Told you it was easy. Everything I do is easy, peeps. Get plenty on, so you got lots of flavour on there, and then give it a rub in. Toss them over, rub it all in. There we go. Give it a good rub. Get it all over them. And then all we're gonna do is whack these chicken breasts on top of all that veg and stick it in the oven. How quick and easy is that? That poor guy is still waiting outside to pay me for his car. <laughs> but he thinks, what sort of mad house is this? <laughs> right, rest that on the top. I'm making two pickaxes. Here we go, it's on. Let me pop that over there. Wash my hands. Maybe I want a discount because he's been out there for so long. <laughs> That was really bad timing. He said he was coming tomorrow. I feel really awful. Right, but you guys are more important. Chicken on the top, look at that bad boy. This would do a family of four easily because my kids won't eat a whole chicken breast. And Andrew can't, so I'll be eating this for like three days. Spray light over the top. Boom, done. Whack it in the oven, give it like, 35 minutes see if it's cooked just check your chickens cook through if it needs a little bit longer give it a bit longer that is it job done peri peri chicken base bake bake whack it in the oven 200 job done oh i was going to tell you about the rice pudding wasn't i do you think i can leave them for a couple more minutes right rice pudding do you want to see it <gasps> look at this andrew likes his rice pudding a little bit runnier i like it thicker but he won anyway so, let me get a spoon. So, I've done white chocolate rice pudding. I haven't done this before, um, but I've been eating it most of the day. So, it's in the slow cooker. Oh, it's so good. I've been eating it all day. <laughs> Just come along, taking a spoonful out. So, in here, let me read off, because I did tweak it a little bit to suit. So, there's 160 grams of pudding rice. One and a half litres of skimmed milk. So that classes as your um, like healthy extra. One of your healthy extras or a couple of them. But I'm not like, I'm not eating the whole thing today. So I'm good. I put two eggs in there. That's free. I put four tablespoons of the low calorie granulated sweetener. So that's free. I put two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Free. And then I've added four of these but the white chocolate ones. So four options sachets. So these are two sins each. So there's eight sins for that entire lot and it will easily feed four people at least. There'll be some left for tomorrow. Like I said, I've been eating it all throughout the day. So I whacked this in the slow cooker this morning. It was cooked by lunchtime. So I've just had it on warm and I've been like eating it. <laughs> Because it smells amazing. The white chocolate smells amazing. So that's white chocolate rice pudding. It's quite sweet. <laughs> but it tastes good. Let me have another bit. Mm. It tastes really good. Really good. If you like sweet things. And I do. Right. That's it. I will post, sorry. I will post the recipes on here later. And um, the pictures of the food. If you want any help, just drop me a message on the Get Started. If you haven't done already make sure you're following right at the top of the page you can click follow see first why eggs because i think it just makes it a bit nice and creamier because you can't put butter in it can you so yeah two eggs in there boom job done tastes amazing right my work here is done i'm gonna go and get that guy's money off him now and let him take the car how fun is that right i'll see you all tomorrow love you thanks for sharing see you all soon bye